I've been sharing my journey as a physio um, deciding to have surgery for my diastasis. And I know there's been a lot of questions around like, well, why do we, why would I bother doing physio if I'm going to have surgery? And as a physio, I'm biased. <laughs> it's hard for me not to be right away like, well, of course, everybody should have physio before or you should do physio before, but you don't have to. You can do whatever you want. I just want to share my experience and my reasons for advocating for seeing someone before and after surgery. Um, we focus a lot on the gap, the space between our abs, and that if the space is there, you know, there's sometimes a belief that we need to have surgery. Keep in mind, these are just my experiences. Um, this is just my journey and, 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 and I'm sharing for the benefit of others. When, if I, if I was to not know anything about my core and diastasis, then these would be my tendencies. This is what, how I would do exercise. Okay. If I was just doing a traditional, let's say something that involves a back bend. Okay. I would be just, you know, if I'm, my belly was let go, I was letting everything just expand. As soon as I bend back, can you see all of the coning that comes out? Can you see that? Everything wants to peek out the front, okay? And I feel very vulnerable. I actually have back pain right now. And uh, my pelvic floor is hanging on for dear life because I've got such a weakness here that if I wanted to do this movement over and over again, my body would have a hard time, okay? But because I understand muscles and how to coordinate something that doesn't feel overly efficient, I, wouldn't, I don't avoid those movements. I just do them differently. I, I've learned how to really exaggerate tension across here. So you can see that I can hold that back to some extent. So it takes away my back pain. I don't get as much doming or coning. So I really know how to kind of call on all of the muscles in the neighborhood to help control that space. Okay. If I do something like an overhead, if I thought knew nothing and I wanted to keep exercising, and I, you know, kind of just let that loose and I started lifting a weight overhead. What I feel is first of all, like nothing going on here. So there's a lot tensioning in and around my rib cage. My neck's on fire when I do this without thinking about it. And again, I feel my pelvic floor hold on for dear life because this whole area is not doing much, but I don't do it like that. I connect. So I kind of let it off when I'm not, and I, I engage lift let it off engage i feel a lot less tension in my neck i feel like my pelvic floor doesn't have to do so much and it's just a bit more it feels more efficient if i look at something like a uh, crunch a very typical crunch if i knew nothing most people would avoid all of this but if i if i knew nothing what i would probably tend to do is hold my breath and I can just feel like so much pressure coming out of here. Pelvic floor, especially at the back, feels like, oh my gosh, I gotta help extra. And again, here and in my neck, working hard to make up for this coning, you know, this pressure coming out here. But I still do this movement. I just know how to coordinate all my muscles so that certain areas aren't taking all the slack. So engage through the front. So I can hold that back. Okay. Now this is why I would say, because I have a very significant diastasis um, and like I can only do so much and that's my decision to have surgery. For the majority of people with diastasis, learning how to coordinate those core muscles can be all you need, right? To maintain the pressure at the front, but let everything else in the area um, tone down to normal tension. Um, and the thing about post-surgery is I think a lot of people assume that like once I have my surgery, my muscles will be stronger, but surgery itself cannot make your muscles stronger and cannot, won't necessarily change your coordination. If my go-to is always to hold my breath, create pelvic floor tension and create tension around here, it's not an easy thing for my brain to just change. I might just go back to some of my old ways, which might mean I'm still very weak here. I don't have the same necessarily um, protrusion going on, but it wouldn't necessarily mean I'm strong if I don't work on the coordination of the muscles. So that would be my reason for suggesting you, you work with a therapist 
before deciding if you even need surgery, but then also to enhance your recovery.